But in the in the book you write, and this is kind of a phrase that you you say in, in a number of different ways, that the the first person we must learn to lead is ourselves. Tell me what you mean by that, and how does that relate to what you just explained? <laughs> Self leadership is is critically important, right? Um, and I think if we were to look at someone else and assess someone else, we would say, "Don't tell me what you think." you know, I mean, show me what you do. So if someone said, um, I'm going to help you assess your goals and you're going to live a better life, but you don't see that person living a healthy life, then you're going to say, is that someone that I need to take mentoring or coaching or instruction from? And so uh, many of us, certainly as educators, we are in positions of influence. And again, this is where I go back to educators and their values. So if um, say this issue of cultural competency or uh, racial history or um, American history, either even not just told from one lens. And that's something or an area where you're not uh, competent in, but you know it's a gap in your life and you want to get better at it, then that's only going to happen if you set some um, intention in your life regard. And that, and what I found as a competitive athlete turn military person, turn Marine, and now just trying to live a healthy life, right? Um, and when I say healthy, I don't mean about size or weight. I'm talking about someone who's mentally, physically, um, emotionally healthy, right? Mm -hmm. um, that there are choices I have to make every day about how I'm going to live and what I'm going to do and how I'm going to prioritize my time. And I want to make sure that the things I'm doing are in alignment with my values.